Cyclist Pink will put in 47 points in front. So after this pink, red and the blue would do. Red and the blue would put in 53 points in front, with just 51 remaining. Roll the blue in and Ronnie O'Sullivan will need a snooker. <laughs> so Ronnie had a good chance here, played a poor positional shot and then Mr. Red, he was trying to force in to get back up for the black. But it's only one snooker needed. I don't think there's a pot on here. Well, maybe there's a plant, is there? No, just playing the safety. And as I say, it's only one Stuart snooker Bingham, required. 67. It's been done before. Pot, and he knew that was the only way he could keep it one snooker. Oh, sensational! Absolutely sensational! He's given himself a chance now. Not bothered about being on the red. As long as he can get the snooker. 16. I'm watching Stuart Bingham in his chair, he just he doesn't know what to think about the, the last two or three shots as he's been played. Well, well, so him, 16. He must have been delighted when the run and played the last the third last red. An incredible black in the middle and a long red, and now he's in trouble. That's the natural line. But there's so much room around that red. He's cut out the the escape down the right hand side if we look. That's the line, but you've got to trust yourself. He's got to hit this. We have a new favourite now, 33 points behind, 35 remaining. Pink or black off this red required. Needs to miss the brown, and he didn't. He got the kiss on the brown. Eight. So this yellow, if he takes it on, is a very thin cut, but how can he get on the green? No, decided to play the safety. Don't blame him. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He doesn't want to Eight. knock the pink safe, though. And he's left the path for Stewart to get through to this yellow. So it's all about this yellow ball.
too thick. He's got away with it. He's got away with it. But he may be in trouble when he comes back to the table. Well, this shot we're seeing there, John. This is what I've mentioned with Colin tonight. This black. Once again, a little bit too thick, and if that cue ball comes away from the cushion, here's a chance for Ronnie. One good pot on the yellow. And it could be a frame winner. Great pot. And perfect on the green. He needs the remaining Five. colours. He may have to play a little cannon from the brown here, just leave himself a nice angle on the blue. Well, he decided he could get past it, but he's wrong side of the blue. Nine. But as I always say, you'd rather be well the wrong side, so straightforward, in and out of ball, just got to judge the pace. Just got to judge the pace. Needs a bounce or to slow down one or the other. It's not bad, it's not great. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? 20. This black for an amazing frame to pinch. It's there! Well, that is absolutely incredible. When Ronnie O'Sullivan needed one snooker, I didn't put it out of the realms of possibility, but that black he potted in the middle back to keep him in the frame was absolutely outstanding. And in the end, he takes a frame he should never have got. And he's now four clear, 5-1. didn't quite get the cannon and he's not safe just yet there's still enough there for Ronnie O'Sullivan he's a strong Seven. strong favorite in this frame now but uh, if that little cannon had worked it was uh, end of frame this was the one here he just uh, caught it a bit thinner than he wanted But as I mentioned, those uh, colours with the blue up there is quite a good target to try and get in behind. Ooh. Mark Selby, 70. the reds are now so Ronnie O'Sullivan's not quite out of this frame just yet one mistake from Mark and there's a counter attack on there's not a ball safe on the table at the moment I think you may be able to have a go with this red into the left hand corner pocket there is a gap between red and black back down towards the table Needs a bit of luck here. Well, well I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's knocked so many long balls in. Because he's so far behind, he'll take this on. If this goes in, he's got a bit of a chance. <laughs> what a shot that is. Just look at the, the kiss he got on the red as well, purposely played. Free up the pink. Seven. 
that red that's gone close to the side cushion, Dennis, that's not going to be a problem for Ronnie O'Sullivan yeah. because he's so good left-handed. Eight. Surely Mark Selby can't make a 70 break and lose a frame. And of course, it's not only the frame, it would be the match, but you wouldn't put it past his opponent. Ronnie O'Sullivan relishes 15. this sort of situation. Sixteen. Didn't want to kiss on the black, but he's okay. He can drop the pink in. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot, Dennis. And an acute angle as well. Wow. What a climax we could have to this match. Because the red 31. is okay. Ronnie can switch hands if he drops in behind this last red. He's got the perfect angle to do that. Well, what a finish this could be. Mark 38 knows that this is finished a little awkward here. Which was knocked up there at the start of the frame. Could be a little awkward this next shot. Got to make sure he doesn't snooker himself with the blue. 48. Oh, this has been absolutely sublime so far. This could be one of the best 51. frames ever seen. Having said that, he hasn't got on the brown as he wanted. He's got to go all the way around the table now. Where's the cue ball? Keep your eye on the cue ball. 55. <laughs> well, where does he play it? In the middle? I looked into the corner. It's there, but he's still got a little bit to do. 60. Another good shot needed. Mark made a 70 break. Incredible. Oh. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. <laughs> clearances you could ever wish to see. Mark Selby made a magnificent 70 break. It looked like he was going to be one frame behind in the end with that brilliant clearance. Ronnie O'Sullivan takes the match. A fantastic match. Six frames to three.